Today's vlog is a very special vlog because today we are joining the convoy for kids starting here at Larapinta, heading all the way to Redcliffe and we're following a story of a very special man and I'll tell you about that very shortly but for now let's go. Brisbane's Convoy for Kids is an incredible event that's been going strong since 1991. Now we'll tell you later on in this video how it all came about and who the special man is and why we're following his story. But what I can tell you is that Convoy for Kids is an annual event and has raised millions of dollars for children with special needs and life-threatening illnesses. <laughs> Now the special man that we're following in this story is actually my dad, who actually drove in the very first convoy in 1991. This year, however, he'll be riding as a passenger, as a special guest of my brother, who is now a truck driver and will be driving in Convoy for Kids 2024. But more on the reason why that's so special later on. Now when the convoy started, I waved at the first truck, and I waved at the second truck, then the third truck saw me wave at the second truck, so I waved at the third truck, and the fourth truck saw me wave at the third truck, and before I knew it, I had waved at hundreds of trucks. I didn't want anyone to miss out. So I rang my brother to see where they're at, and they still haven't started moving yet. So all these trucks that have gone past, they're still sitting outside their truck, having a coffee, waiting to get moving. That's how long the line is. So we've been here a while now, I think probably half an hour at least, I reckon. Um, so I'm gonna get some chairs and sit down and uh, have a drink and just wait for them to get closer. <laughs> now Brisbane's Convoy for Kids has once again selected Hummingbird House Foundation to be their 2024 fundraising beneficiary for the 10th year running. Hummingbird House provides short break stays, family support services, creative therapies and care at the end of life for children with life limiting conditions and their families. So my dad just passed us. It took an hour and 35 minutes for him to get to where we are at the start line. That's how long the line is of these trucks. That's incredible. But I'm well done, Dad. <laughs> half it took for that to finish. Hour and a half of trucks driving past, hour and a half of waving and cheering, but um, they're on their way now so I'm going to head over to Redcliffe which is about an hour and a half from here, I reckon maybe longer because of the traffic, and going to meet them at the finish line and we'll show you around, hopefully get to ch chat to my dad who was the founding member, or sorry he was a founding member of the people who actually organised Convoy the Kids.
Now some interesting facts about entering the Convoy for Kids. Each truck would pay $100 per entry, or you can bid to be the first, second or third place drivers in the Convoy. Now bids are placed to have the privilege of riding first, second or third place in the Convoy, and this year in first place we had Daniel Wyatt, who bid $110,000 for the privilege of being first in the Convoy. As the trucks drove through the centre of Redcliffe, the streets were lined with people cheering them on as they approached the final finish line. Side of the road, 
um, just waving and honking the horns and just doing the fun stuff. Yeah, go for a ride along with that, basically. So, so what made you want to be involved this year? Um, well, just because I drive now, and uh, I just always remember fondly of going with Dad. And I thought, pretty cool to do it in reverse. So, I thought it would be good. So, surprised him this morning with some highway horns coming down the street. <laughs> at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and woke everybody up. Yep. And um, here we are. And then I brought my uh, junior along to also experience it. So, three generations in one truck. Um, and you had no idea this was happening this morning, so it was a bit of a mission to get Dad out of bed at what time? Five o'clock. Five o'clock this morning, Mum was waking him up and um, had to get him out the front door, so a bit of fun, but we yeah, managed to get him out there. And did you enjoy it in the end? Was it worth it? No. no. <laughs> like it? Horrible ride <laughs> And how long did it take you to get here? It was a while, wasn't it? It was about five hours five from hours. when we left to when we drove in the gate. And it was about 60, 60, 60, 60 kilometres, five hours. It was a bit of an effort, but uh, it was really good to be involved. I was surprised how, how much it's grown. Yeah. What we organised to what they've organised now. Yeah. I'm surprised it's still doing Yeah. So, so I thought it'd be a couple of years. I'm not sure. Yeah, all these years later. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, if you want to check out what Conway Kids is all about, I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to go check that out. Yeah, I'll thanks for coming along and being part of the video. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. So that's the end of our day here at the Convoy of the Kids. I really enjoyed it because I've personally been around trucks since I was like a little kid, actually all my life. So it was really good to experience the trucks um, in the Convoy of the Kids. It's such a good cause, so uh, definitely go check that out like I said earlier. So if you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button as well. And until next week guys, have a great week. See ya!